It all started as a student project, four years ago actually. So we were a team of students in our undergraduate studi uh, studies, and we teamed up with uh, Disney Research Zurich to develop a new kind of aerial vehicle. This vehicle has to meet, and since it was a collaboration with Disney, safety was uh, goal number one. And uh, the purpose of it should be to basically be able to fly around an object, capture images from it, which then uh, can be used to do a 3D reconstruction of this object. So after one year of intense development and uh, three other years of like putting, uh, pushing the limits of the system even further, we're now at this stage here. So as you can see, it's rather quiet. You can, uh, you can basically approach it when it's flying. You can also push it away a little bit. You have to be gentle though. As you've seen, basically the system is floating. So there is a helium inside, which, which is really safe. So helium cannot burn, you can breathe it. There's no, no issue with helium basically. So helium provides the lift and makes it very efficient. So there are really long flight times possible. As with an operation in a room like this, where you don't have to counter wind, you can easily fly for like four or five hours with a prototype like this. And it's arranged on a sphere. So the sphere has the best uh, surface over volume ratio, which is great to build a light structure. So you'd use the least material to have the most buoyancy from helium. And the stability of the system is achieved by having an overpressure inside the hull, so there is no structure inside. You basically just have the balloon inflated, you attach the motors and the controller, and then you're good to go. There's the fixed, uh, fixed camera on it, where you can stream a uh, live stream video, basically. You can record video. And uh, as I said, there is no limits in direction. You can basically imagine that it's like a flying eye in the sky. There are four actuation units on it, as you can see there. And this provides the agility of the system. So the hovering is achieved by helium, and the motors are merely used to basically change position and orientation of the system. The motors are aligned in a tetrahedron, which has a great advantage, because the center of gravity is in the middle of the system. This makes it basically unstable, or not unstable, but merely stable, and marginally stable. So you, uh, you have to actively control it at any time, because otherwise you, it would do just whatever it wants. And that's like basically the, the only, only blimp concept which is uh, built this way. But it provides the omnidirectionality that you can really do everything you want to do. Okay.